Under the patronage of the Kuwait Fire Services Directorate, known as KFSD, the second annual Crisis and Risk Management Summit was inaugurated with the attendance of KFSD Director General, Major General Yusuf Al Ansari. The summit is the perfect platform to interact and network with industry experts from leading oil, gas power companies, along with solution providers, technology companies, and government and non government entities involved in emergency response management. Management. Sarah Farris Globe has more in this report. Summit 2014 opened with the aim of highlighting the most important aspect of comprehensive crisis and risk management systems in order to save lives, minimize downtime, and reduce losses. As an international association, we are here to promote emergency management, and we are delighted to see this. Uh, improvement of emergency management and the interest of government and people to, uh, uh, to grow up with emergency management and uh, to see the improvement that's happening in Kuwait. Uh, one of the things that uh, made us uh, really happy to see a Kuwaiti government, uh, sorry, a Kuwaiti uh, entity uh, as a consultant for emergency management and risk management, which is a good sign for uh, improvement of emergency management in this part of the world. Well, uh, quite a lot of to uh, topics are going to be discussed within the two days. Uh, first of all, how to build a crisis management center. Later on, risk assessment, what you require to do. And also, we're going to learn from each other experiences from others who have done such things. And, and as you've seen, we got, we got the top of the people from the world here today. So we're going to share mainly information how we can promote disaster and emergency management and risk assessment into a higher level within the GCC, not just Kuwait. But we're still looking for the private sector and governments also to have systems and procedures that is aligned with the whole country. For example, right now we don't have a Kuwaiti national disaster and emergency plan that people can follow. It doesn't exist. Everybody has his own plans. This is a regional center that is part of the GCC and the headquarters will be in Kuwait and we have been allocated a 5,000 square meter piece of land from His Highness the Emir through the Foreign Ministry. The center's role will be to coordinate crisis and risk management responses between the GCC countries and we are in contact and have set up plans with international bodies, especially the International Atomic Energy in Vienna, where two weeks ago we approved a plan for nuclear emergency response. So it is important for us to participate in this summit. It is important as it is to bring together all the leading international specialists in this field. The two-day conference also aimed to raise awareness about setting up state-of-the-art strategies and integrating effective emergency response systems within the parameters of health, safety and the environment. Uh, the conference we're dealing with this year is an expansion of last year's conference and we're getting into much more topics of planning and mitigation and actual practices and how we are going to start mitigating and managing some of the risks that we face. Uh, talking about implementing technology in uh, oil and gas emergency uh, management and basically trying to help people sort through all the choices when it comes to uh, technology. We have so many different things out there today and uh, my talk is to help guide uh, from our experiences what technologies work, what technologies don't work and, and just the things to look for before you, you invest heavily in, in technology. We are a UK based company which is representing the GCC countries and we're based in Kuwait. Um, it's mostly talking about an awarding body which is who we are and accreditation and the things that we do and the importance of it within uh, companies that provide security, uh, facilities management, uh, risk management, uh, risk assessments. Organized by the International Quality and Productivity Center, or IQPC, the summit also tackled setting up a national comprehensive crisis and risk management plan for the country. The second annual Crisis and Risk Management Summit has kicked off, bringing together international experts and specialists in the field to discuss the best practices in the region for planning and executing a comprehensive crisis management system. From the JW Marriott, this is Sarah Globe reporting for English News.